As soon as I landed in the States, I get a call about a leak. Although I would have enjoyed a couple more days off to relax after the vacation, I couldn't leave this leak without diagnosing and fixing. I know what you're thinking, who the hell would want to relax more after just coming back from a vacation? Me bro, that's who. I be getting exhausted on these vacations. I had more steps registering to my phone for the duration of the trip than I have had all year. Anyways, let's get back to this leak. The client calls me saying that there's a wet mark in the ceiling of the apartment below. It's not that bad, he says, because it's right above their bathtub, but I guess it needs to be addressed. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Who wants a continuous leak not fixed? When I got to the apartment, I noticed the paint on the ceiling was a bit cracked and felt wet to the touch, but was very hard to see. I guess the Sherlock was right. It's not that bad at all. I went upstairs to turn the hot water on to make sure that it's even leaking in the first place. To diagnose the not-so-bad leak, I used this new thermal camera called the Infrared P2 Pro. Their company reached out to me to review it. It helped with locating a leak that was barely visible to the eye. Its nice sleek design makes it very easy to carry. It has great features and settings that makes it usable all around the globe. It takes high resolution photos and videos and has a wide temperature range. This camera can be used for many problems on job sites or at home. Besides it being great for plumbing issues, it can be useful for home inspections, HVAC troubleshooting, mechanical systems, circuit boards and even electrical components. And if you want to get fancy, you can even use it to measure body temperature in case COVID decides to go another round. The camera is ready to use right out the box. All you gotta do is download its app and start investigating with it. My first thought when the client told me about the leak was that it could be the bathtub drain or a punctured lead trap. Most of these old buildings have lead traps and a powerful snake can go through it very easily. I was about to ask the guy if he had his tub snake lately, but then I realized that the chances of his drain being clogged are minimal because he lives alone and he's as bold as an egg. Hair was obviously not an issue in this apartment. The P2 Pro camera helped me conclude that the leak was small. It took a while for the hot water to show in the temperature range, which made me realize that it could be the spout or the shower head that was dripping slowly due to it not being properly installed or th that it was moved recently. Because I wasn't sure exactly if it was the shower head or the spout that was leaking, I worked on both. All I did was loosen them as carefully as I could and applied some dope and Teflon. I struggled a bit with taking them out because they were super tight. Whoever installed these was obviously allergic to dope and teflon or any type of sealant for that matter. It was clear that the leak was found so I reinstalled them just by hand tightening because there's no water pressure buildup on them so it's never gonna leak again. I offered the guy to install the new spout and shower head but he didn't want because I guess he was too attached to them. Anyways after installation I turned the hot water back on to test and called it a day. The P2 Pro helped out in this job and will help out again in the future for sure. It's a little pricey, but I believe it's worth the money. They have discounts going on at the moment, so take advantage of the Prime Day deals and grab one if you need it. It will pay for itself in the long term. Enjoy the rest of the video and check out the links in the description if you're interested.